Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a Diophantine equation for prime numbers. m and n are primes, and we have this equation. 1 over mn plus 1 over m equals 1 over n. So we're going to be solving for m and n values. Let's make a common denominator first. So multiply the second one by n. Now you can go ahead and add the numerators, 1 plus n divided by mn equals 1 over n. If you multiply both sides by n, n is going to cancel out, and we know that n cannot equal 0 because n and m have to be prime numbers. And then now we can go ahead and cross multiply. 1 plus n equals m. And let's go ahead and put m and n on the same sides, so m minus n equals 1. Great! What is that supposed to mean? Well, if the difference between two prime numbers is 1, which is a rare case, by the way, it means if one of them is odd, the other one is even. So, for example, if m is odd, n is even, or vice versa. So, what is that supposed to mean? Can we have an even prime number? Yes, we can. There's only one, and that's 2. Remember, the smallest prime number is 2, and it's even. So, either m equals 2 or n equals 2. Which one? Let's find out. If m is equal to 2, then n must be 1, because their difference is 1. Remember, m minus n is equal to 1. But that's impossible, because n equals 1 is not a prime number. So let's go ahead and look at the second case, n equals 2. If n is equal to 2, then m is equal to 3, because their difference has to be 1, and m is larger than n. And this works. Yay! Case closed. We're done. So the values we're looking for, m comma n, is, are going to be 3 comma 2. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.